Well, today the wife and I are taking a trip down to Tampa, Florida. It's about an hour and 15 minutes from here. And we're going to test drive a car. I've never driven one of these before. It should be very interesting. Okay, we're all set. Trip is at zero, zero. There's my uh, navigation. Ready to go for our trip to Tampa, Tampa, Florida. So let's go. Display here says we've actually traveled 80 miles. And over here is the Tesla facility. This is where we're going today. We're going to test drive a Tesla or a Tesla. Let me get it right. Tesla, not a Tesla. A Tesla. It's like a Z. T E S Z L A. Tesla. So we're going to drive one today. See what it's like. Should be fun. All right, we're showing you a little bit of the inside of this Tesla we're driving. This is a Model 3, and it's got the performance package. This happens to be a used one that somebody just traded in, and we're taking that for a ride. There's a screen, and we've got the air conditioning on. It's got a beautiful uh, roof here. And let me uh, get outside and show you what it looks like outside. Okay, it's kind of a Tesla white, I call it, or Tesla white. It does have, uh, like I say, it got the performance upgrade. It's a, I guess it's a year or two old, uh, but a good feeling for us on our very first uh, test ride in a Model 3 Tesla. I like the rims, they look pretty good. Car looks great. Patty's in there, got our allergy mask on so she doesn't get sick. So we're going to drive this a little bit and let's see what it feels like. So push this button to open it, opens very easy. One of the things Patty and I both noticed was that the uh, seats are extremely comfortable. Wouldn't you say that? Yep. Yeah, they're really, really, really I comfortable. Would. In fact, your dash is right here and it shows you everything. But let's take a ride. Uh, Pat, why don't you film the screen and out the door here? Let me put my seatbelt on and we'll give the people a, a look at inside the Tesla here. So let me see, I gotta put it in, tap the key card and press the brake. Okay, I think I did that. So now I wanna put it in drive, which is a D up there. So I'm in drive, so I can pull away. Very smooth. <laughs> this is crazy. Whole different deal here. We'll pull out in just a minute. There's another Tesla. This is Tesla City up here, I swear. Okay, we'll pull out. Guy's pretty fast. Holy crap. I don't know if you can feel that, but that pulls really, really good. <laughs> very, very nice. So big, big first impression was the seats. The seats are very, very comfortable. Uh, I really like that. That was probably my favorite was the seats. And then, uh, I don't know if there's anything else you can think about, Pat, but I think the seats, are, the seats are great and the acceleration, the acceleration is very good too. It's more than I was expecting, let me put it that way. Very comfortable ride. I think the ride quality is excellent. No problem with the ride. And when you push down on the front pedal, this thing really takes off. All right, let's uh, go over here. And we're we'll pulling here. Oh, is that a. Yeah, I guess it is. Ooh, kind of strange. Give me 
and go around and head back the other way. Okay, you ready? We're gonna do a little, just a quick little acceleration experience here. Woo, that throws you back in the seat. <laughs> <laughs> this thing has some zippity doo dah. Wow, I'm telling you. Um, yeah, this is fast. <laughs> and, and uh, this does have the upgrade, the performance upgrade in it for a Tesla 3. So, um, yeah, this goes good. No lack of performance there, Pat. Nope. That thing, it pushed you right in the seat, doesn't it? Push you right back in the seat. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I. yeah, it hits the headrest. Yeah, you better have your head on the headrest when the guy says, I'm going to give it a little performance run, you know. 70 miles an hour comes up real quick. Jeez, I gotta get on the brakes here. I don't wanna get myself a ticket. <laughs> that, that was 70 miles an hour, that quick. Yeah, that was fast. That was really fast. <laughs> Holy. Holy crap. I love this display. Yeah. This is a nice. I really, really like this display. Very smooth, very easy to drive. I've never, neither one of us, we've never driven one of these before. We've never driven one, and it absolutely is super easy to drive. It's just, you just get in the car and drive it. There's two pedals, you got a brake pedal and a gas pedal, and that's the whole story. And if you want to go fast, you put more pressure on the accelerator pedal. <laughs> it's not a gas pedal anymore. It's <laughs> It's a performance pedal, I guess. Boy, I'll tell you, I can't get over how responsive uh, this car is. It's, uh, it's pretty impressive. Wouldn't you say, Miss, Mrs. Baker? Absolutely. Plus, it rides so nice. I can't get over how nice it rides. What? I was expecting a buckboard. I don't know why. I was expecting this to be kind of a harsh ride, a buckboard ride. But driving along here, this is just super comfortable, very luxurious. I guess that's the best way to put it. Very luxurious, very comfortable, very easy to drive. You know, uh, just, just amazing. Where he had this? Where did he have this? Right here on the right. Okay. He had it backed in. Back it in. All right, how do we? It's got R, yeah. I figured it out. Huh. Well, the car looks like it wants to back up, so I'll back it up. So I wanted to wait a day before I. Uh, did this part of the video from when we took the test ride so that I could give you some idea and I could collect my thoughts a little bit better on all the things I experienced yesterday and even though it was only a half an hour test ride there were a lot of things coming at us and I was trying to catch hold of all the stuff that sort of grabbed my eye I grabbed my thought and idea and I just want to put so I, I put this all down on paper and I'm going to tell you some of the things I liked and some of the things I don't like. And at the end, I'm going to tell you whether I'd ever buy a Tesla or not or I'd ever consider buying a Tesla or not. So I'll put that in, in here, too. Um, the first thing I think w which was huge was the acceleration. This car is fast. It's a Tesla Model 3 with the performance package and it goes like stink. I mean, it really is fast. Uh, zero to 16 around three seconds. I mean, it just moves out. Uh, and it pulls all the way up too. I mean, it just doesn't just pull up to 50 or 60, but it just keeps going. So uh, you gotta be careful. You won't have a license <laughs> too long, but sure. <clears throat> but I like this acceleration. 
The other thing I really liked is the excellent steering. I thought the steering was superior. Um, I'd like to have that steering in my Corvette. It's very, very impressive. You have to drive it. I, it it's hard to explain what it's like, but if you drive one, you'll know what I'm talking You'll Oh, yeah, you'll get it. You'll see. Oh, my gosh. Um, comfortable seats. Both my wife and I thought these seats were really great. I think we mentioned it earlier in the video. Um, we really like the seats. They're very, uh, very comfortable. It's also a car that's very easy to drive once you figure out how to put it in drive, which is easy. And there's a little D comes up in them. I showed you that too, I think, in the video. Um, it's very easy to drive. It's simple. And um, the other thing I really like, there's no pressure. Nobody's trying to, nobody was trying to jam us into a Tesla yesterday. Nobody. Nobody was trying to do that. Oh, let me take this to my. Uh, let me take your offer to my my sales manager, and uh, we'll see if he can sharpen his pencil a little bit for you. You know, and maybe we can give you a nice little deal. You only spend four thousand dollars more than you should have. You know, <laughs> I just hate that. I'd rather have a root canal than go trying to deal with a regular car dealership. It's no fun. With Tesla, there's only one price for each vehicle. And it's on the website. If you go to tesla.com, you can see all of the four different vehicles they have and um, what the prices are. And you can actually buy a Tesla, order your Tesla right online. It's simple, wicked simple to do. It's like ordering a T-shirt. <laughs> I think the T-shirt's a little harder to do, to be honest with you. So, but uh, yeah, nobody's trying to uh, jam you into a car. If you do buy, I'll put in an order for a car, then you get your finances together and they'll tell you when the car will be ready for delivery and you can go down and take delivery of your car and pay them, whatever, and off you go. If you need a couple more weeks to get your finances together, they'll give you a couple more weeks. They're very good. They, they, they can't be nicer. The people, have, it's an, who would ever think, I'd say this, that buying a car is, uh, can be a nice, a nice experience. Uh, it seems to me as though this would be a very, very nice experience for buying your car. So anyway, great resale value on the Teslas right now. Um, I was looking at a used one. It's $1,000 less than a brand new one. Why would you buy a used one? Get the brand new one. Somebody, I guess, would buy it, but I wouldn't. I'd get the brand new one for a thousand bucks. There's very high demand for the Tesla out there right now. It's a very, very popular vehicle. They're going out the door as fast as they get them, and they're really, they're busy. I also love that big display screen. Uh, it's horizontal rather than vertical. I like that much better. Um, you can see the vehicles all around you, and there's all kinds. That, that's another whole story that that whole screen is another two or three videos in itself. The paint, I love the paint on the car. I looked at all the cars that were there. The paint looks terrific. I don't know what they're doing in their paint shop, but it looks very good. Corvette should figure out how the hell they're painting those cars. But anyway, they look great. Um, prices increase, price increases happen uh, several times a year. And like they called me, um, there's a price increase coming, I think, next week. And they said, if I, they just asked me, they said, if you're considering buying a car, you might want to put your order in now and lock in your price uh, because there's going to be a price increase, I think, next week or the week after. So uh, they gave you a heads up. They're not trying to say, sign now, or you, you know, it's $10,000 more. None of that scare stuff. No, they're not trying to scare you. They're, they're trying to give you good information, which I think is terrific. Um, my wife was really excited when the salesperson told us that you can get, there's a potential to get 500,000 miles out of one battery. 500,000 miles out of one battery. She was all excited about that, and I don't blame her. Um, the other thing I like is the ability to turn off regenerative braking. Um, regenerative braking, when you take your foot off the accelerator, or the power, stick or whatever the hell you call it, the power pedal. <laughs> you can't call it a uh, 
You can't call it a gas pedal anymore, I guess. No, this would be wrong. Uh, but <clears throat> you can turn the regenerative braking on or off. So if you want to turn it on, when you come off the throttle, uh, the car slows down. It's like the brakes are being lightly put on. And what that is doing is regenerating electricity to go back into your battery pack, which is pretty cool. Oh, nice. They've thought of a lot of things here. So those are my positives. Now let's go to my negatives. Actually, I should say they're not my negatives or my positives. They're our, my wife and I, because we've, we've talked this over, and we've pretty much agreed on all of these things that I'm telling you. Um, one of the negatives was it took me uh, 80 miles to go from my house here in the villages to the Tesla dealership in Tampa, Florida. 80 miles, a little over an hour. But I mean, that's a long way to go to a dealership, uh, mainly because they don't have that many dealerships yet. And I might hint to Tesla is this, put a dealership in Ocala, that'll have really, really help. Uh, it'll cover a lot of area for them. I, I'm surprised they had, don't have one in Ocala now, but I'm sure it's, I got a feeling it's coming. I just, I don't know. I could be wrong. It could be Whistling Dixie, but I, I, I think that that's something they should really consider. Um, that, would, that, that would be a, a, a really good idea. But, I, but now I'm thinking, I, I think a little bit more about this. These uh, cars become so self-driving, you know, I wouldn't have to worry about that. I just go out in the morning and push a button in the car to tell it to go to the dealership, and the car would drive itself down to the dealership to be serviced. Then the dealership, when they were through it, push another button on the car, and the car would come back to me and park in my driveway. It's getting crazy, isn't it? <laughs> but it's very interesting. And uh, I wouldn't be surprised if that doesn't come along someday that they'd be able to do that. I don't think it's in the, I don't think it's, uh, it's going to be long before we can do that either. It's probably a year or two, at most I would think. But we'll see. We'll see. Uh, I asked one of the sales people there, very nice guy, he helped me, show me all the little things I need to know about the car. And I said, before I went, I forget his name now, but I said, you know, before I go, why don't you give me one of your cards? He said, I don't have any cards. I said, well, you don't have any cards? No. You go on the website and you want to go, go on to tesla.com. You can go on, it, on there and design your car. There's not many options, so it doesn't take you. can design a whole car in about five minutes. Um, and then order it. Put somewhere between $100 and $250 down. Put that down. Your order goes in. They call you when the car's ready. You bring your finances down there and pay for the car, and away you drive. No must, no fuss, and no agita going back and forth on the damn price, which I used to hate. Uh, the only other negative I could find out, with two, well, it was two, two things. One, they only had one bathroom there, a unisex bathroom, I guess you'd call it, or a, um, a communal bathroom, I guess. Um, it was clean. So no, no real complaints, but eh, two would have been nice, um, especially if it gets busy. The second thing was uh, they didn't, all they had were those little uh, cups there that you put in to make coffee, and they were, I didn't see any water. There might have been I, no donuts, no uh, cookies or candy or munchies or anything. Most of the dealerships that you go to today, if your cars are being serviced, there are about four or five people there waiting in big cushy chairs, all with their heads buried in their phone, of course, uh, waiting for their uh, car to be serviced, it looked like to me. And um, no TV, um, kind of barren. And I think they could work on all that a little bit. I, but that's, you know, I'm really scratching to find something uh, that's somewhat negative and it's not terribly, it's not a deal breaker, you know what I mean? So, anyway, that's my story. Oh, oh, I almost forgot. Would I or my wife or I uh, ever consider buying 
an all-electric vehicle like the Tesla, like the Tesla, um, the answer to that question is yes. We both would consider buying a Tesla especially. We really like the Tesla. It's very, we were very impressed with that car. So the answer is yes. Give us your comments down below. Would you buy an electric car? Would you never buy an electric car? Um, maybe as a second car or something like that. Um, also, hit the subscribe button. That really helps us a lot. Doesn't cost you anything. Hit the bell, that little bell down there, and the, uh, the bell will let you know, will notify you automatically when it, we put out a new video, if you're interested in that. If you like the video, hit the like button. But leave a comment. Would you buy an electric car? Are you got your both heels dug into the ground and you're not going to budge on an electric car? Oh, I want a gasoline car. Or you might take something half and half. Maybe uh, one that's got the, you know, uh, motors, electric motors up front and uh, it's got an engine driving the rear wheel. Maybe it's something like that you might like. But let us know down below. I love to hear your comments. I read them all, so I love to hear them. Anyway, thanks for watching. And we'll see you in the next video uh, real soon. Thousands and thousands of people that get killed in automobile accidents every year. Think about this. If this self-driving really gets to the point where it's safe to do and, you know, they're not going to smash everybody up. Think what it could do for uh, the people that die every year in automobile accidents. They won't be dying anymore. Think of uh, your insurance you know, your insurance policy is going to be, what, maybe 15 bucks a year, 20 bucks a year. I don't know what it's going to be. They're not killing everybody. They're smashing everybody's car up. They're not going to be crashing into each other. It's, it has a lot of interesting things to it, which I think uh, could be really important down the road. So.